hello guys and welcome back to my channel foul again in this video we are going to talk about security zone palo alto network firewall use security zone to analyze control and log network traffic as it travels from one zone interface to another zone interface zone logically group network that contain particular type of traffic that are contained within defined security classifications example of such classifications are internet data center applications users it infrastructures customer data like that security zones are divided into two broad categories one intra zone and one is interzone intrazone traffic by default it allows traffic to flow between interfaces that exit in the same zone what do you mean by that consider you have defined zone as intra zone and you have name one zone as say dmz and one zone as uh, web dmz one zone as one zone as a data center so what intra zone says by default it allows traffic to flow between interfaces that exist in the same zone <coughs> so for example for dmz i have interface say eth01 dmz i have put the interface say eth02 and for the dc i have set the interface 03 so what it says by default it allows traffic to flow between interfaces that exists in this same zone so the traffic passing between these zones are allowed and which is by default now let me just do separation here <laughs> now let's talk about the interzone okay by default denies traffic from flowing between the interfaces that exist in different zones internet is a zone and then say internal is another zone and say uh, dmz is another zone what it says by default it denies traffic from flowing between interfaces that exist in different zones so here i have a interface say eth05 here eth06 and here eth07 okay i have defined this as inter zone right so here by default the traffic between interface is denies so i hope the clarity you have what is difference between the intra zone and inter zone security zones contain one or more physical or virtual interfaces and interface can belongs to only one zone so say this is your palo alto firewall right it's a box it has a multiple interfaces here right so one interface 
will be belongs to only one zone so i can say like this zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 zone 5 that means one interface will not come into the two zones for example so this two interface will not belongs to only one zone that is a thumb rule what we have now security policy rules are applied to zone not interfaces this is also important to note guys so security policies okay will be applied to zones okay not interfaces in other firewalls we have seen like checkpoint firewall the security policy applies towards the interfaces but here it applies towards the zone okay not interfaces okay these are very critical and crucial points to note right so security policy rules are applied to zones not interfaces to allow or deny traffic we can apply qos we can perform NAT, apply security profiles or set logging parameters etc onto these zones only right now let's see multiple zone based on their security classification as you can see on the diagram the zone and corresponding security policy should be made as definitive as possible to reduce your network's attack surface all zone name are custom names that are defined by the firewall administrator there are five primary zone type those are say tab zone layer 2 zone layer 3 zone tunnel zone and virtual wire zone that support only specific interface type as we going to see in next topic the different zone and interface type can be used simultaneously on different physical firewall interfaces different zone and interface types can be used simultaneously on different physical fi firewall interfaces an interface can belong to only one zone tunnel zone become available in pan os 8.0 and are used for feature name tunnel content inspection a sixth zone type which named as external is a special zone type that is available only on some firewall models the external zone allow traffic to pass between virtual system when multiple virtual systems are configured on the same firewall virtual systems are supported only on the appliances like palo alto 2000 series 3000 series 4000 series 5000 series and 7000 series external zone type is visible in the top down list when it is supported by firewall with the virtual system feature enabled note that management and ha interface are not assigned to a zone so this is also important when we talk about the management 
and HA interface okay these interfaces are not assigned to any zone this is a key point zones need to be created and configured by assigning a zone name and specifying the zone type the interface do not have to be configured prior to the zone creation they can be assigned to a zone later so first you need to create a zone then you have to configure the interfaces you don't have to create interfaces first and then assign to the zone it's the vice versa so it is important the name whatever you give to the zone those are case sensitive so i hope this part is clear